Hey booktube, it's the end. This is going to be my July wrap up. So for the month of July, I have a total of nine things to show you guys, which is the most that I've read in a really long time. Participating in both the Reading Rush and the Book Junkie Trials definitely helped me complete a lot of reading this month. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with what I read. A few things were pretty highly rated and a few things were just kind of okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first book I read in July was the first book for the Book Junkie Trials, which was to complete the challenge of reading a dark, gritty, or gruesome book. I picked up And I Darkened by Kirsten White. Um, I have been reading, I have been wanting to read this for quite a while. I actually recently picked this up and met Kirsten and she actually did sign it when I was, when she was at my local book festival. And so, um, this kind of was the perfect opportunity to pick it up. Um, it did take a little bit of time to get going, uh, but then once I kind of got through kind of the first a little bit of chunk um I really really enjoyed it it did take a lot longer to get through than I was anticipating but um that just has to do with my reading lately um I really enjoyed this I ended up giving it four stars I ended up giving it four stars and I cannot wait to continue with the rest of the series to read a book that took part at least on partly on C I picked up The Legend of Luke this is one of the books in the Redwall series um I enjoyed this all right. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It did take me quite a long time to get through the first 150 pages and then I flew through the last 200 pages in a matter of 24 hours. Um, this follows Martin as he kind of discovers as he's going on this adventure to discover who his father Luke is and then you learn about um, so it's kind of like a flashback. The first part is Martin and um, he is the warrior of Redwall he goes through on this adventure to discover who his father is and then it goes into a flashback and you learn more about Luke and his adventures. Um, overall I found this just was just all right. I ended up giving it three and a half stars. Um, I do still really like the Redwall series but this definitely wasn't my favorite read. I gave it three and a half stars. <clears throat> the third prompt for the book Junkie Trials was to complete uh, the prompt of Glimmer, which is to which was to read a beautiful book. I picked up the Never Ending Story. I listened to this as an audiobook. I managed to read this in a matter of like two and a half days or so. Um, this was a reread for me. I read this quite a while ago. I don't really remember when. I did, I did enjoy reading it the second time. I gave it four stars. The audiobook is pretty fast paced, and um, it was really fun to relive this story again. Never Ending Story is one of my favorite movies, and so it was really nice to kind of dive back into this world and pick up the novel, and uh, it was a lot of fun, and I gave it four stars. The next, the next prompt was to read a book featuring dragons. I picked up A Natural History of Dragons, a memoir by Lady Trent by Marie Brennan. Um, I also used this for the Reading Rush challenge of a book with five or more words in the title. I am actually pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed this a lot more than anticipated because it's not a very fast paced book and honestly not a lot happens. I tend to not, I, I don't tend to like books where not a lot happens. Um, but I don't know, there was just something about this book that was so intriguing to me and I flew through it, I want to say, in like two and a half days, three days, which is pretty good for me because I don't have a lot of reading time anymore. Um, and I don't know, there was just something about, uh, there was just something about Isabella that I connected with. Um, she is a pretty feminist character for her time period and the way that they approach dragons in such a scientific way it was just so intriguing to me and I really really enjoyed this I gave it four stars um and the illustrations in here are really cool there's some like cool like anatomy pictures um and but I don't know there was just something about this that I actually was I was really intrigued and so I ended up giving it four stars. Last prompt for the book Junkie Trials was the bookie Grail. This I had also was going to use as my book to movie adaptation for the reading rush and that is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This is also a reread for me. Um, I did finish it in time. Um, I did finish it this, like the last day of the month so I didn't complete this challenge for the reading rush but I did get it completed for the book Junkie Trials. Um, I still really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Um, I just love Neil Gaiman's writing and the way he you know, builds up his characters and the way he does his plots. 
um, and his world building, and I really enjoyed it on a second reread, uh, so I gave it four stars. I do plan on watching the movie very soon, because I haven't seen the movie in so many years, um, but I still really enjoyed this, and um, I'm glad that I picked it up again. The challenge of reading a author's debut novel, I actually listened I actually listened to the audiobook of Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is her debut novel. Um, this was all right. This was a, one of those books where, um, this was another one of those books where not really a lot happens. I definitely don't think it's as good as Evelyn Hugo or even Daisy Jones, um, but you can definitely see how she has, she, you can definitely see how she has progressed as a writer. Um, I listened to, I listened to this in like a day and a half on the audiobook. It wasn't very long. Um, I did really enjoy it. It definitely still has her like, um, it definitely was like hard hitting right out of the gate. Um, I honestly didn't really know what this book was about going into it because I didn't want to know. I wanted to be surprised and um, I think that's the best way to go into this book. Um, but overall, I ended up giving this three and a half stars. I then read Wonder Woman Volume 5, Heart of the Amazon. This was for the challenge of reading a book with the non-human main character. This is the fifth volume in the Wonder Woman Rebirth series. Um, this volume was actually kind of disappointing. Um, all of the other volumes up to this volume have been really, really good. This volume I didn't feel like was as strong. I ended up only giving it three stars. I don't really want to talk about too much this volume because it is there is spoilers from the rest of the series, but this um, was overall just all right and ended up giving it three stars. And then I picked up Teen Titans Raven uh, by Cami Garcia. This was for the challenge of read a book with purple on the cover. Um, this is actually also my challenge to read a book in the same spot. Um, I really, really enjoyed this a lot more than I anticipated. I actually gave this a five stars, which I don't give out a lot of five stars very often. Um, a book has to like really wow me to give me five, to give five stars, but I loved this. I love the art style. I think the art style is just absolutely adorable. This story was so intriguing. I flew through it. It didn't, it took me like no time to read it. I absolutely loved it. Um, and this just follows Raven as she uh, discovers who she is and what her powers are. And she just starts out as Raven. She doesn't have her powers. She doesn't remember. She has memory loss after an accident. And then um, she just battles figuring out who she is and struggling with trying to get her memories back. And I just loved absolutely everything about this. I know that there is just going to be like a whole series. Um, and the next volume is going to be Beast Boy, which I hope is really, really good as well. So I ended up really, really liking this and gave it five stars. And then I also read Green Lanterns Volume 2, The Phantom Lantern. Um, this I don't think was for any challenges. It just was an added book. I wanted to get that uh, badge of reading a thousand uh, pages. So this I um, picked up and gave a read. I really, really enjoyed this. This is the second volume in the DC Rebirth Green Lantern run. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this. I gave this four stars. I really like, really like this rebut. I really, really like this run so far. I think that um, it is great to see a superhero be flawed. Jessica is a new Green Lantern and she struggles with, is she enough to be a Green Lantern because she actually has really bad anxiety and I think it's really important to see that superheroes can also be flawed and not be perfect and I think this is they do a really really good job of dealing with that and um, the real struggles that come with anxiety and battling that and um, I really really enjoyed it and I cannot wait to pick up the rest of the series and I give this four stars. I read in July, mine is Forever Interrupted. Um, overall it was a pretty successful reading month. Um, quite a nice selection of a bunch of different things and some pretty high rated things and a couple average rating things. Um, but let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe if not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're well. Happy reading and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.